Who is that? Oh, that was Luol Deng! Luol Deng crossed up LeBron? <laughs> God damn! Oh. Hey guys, Flight Mike here back again with another NBA 2K18 video. So earlier today, we already got some news about NBA Live 18. They dropped a huge bombshell on us when they said that they were going to include the WNBA in NBA Live 18. If you guys missed that video, it's my very, very previous video. Tons of other YouTubers dropped content on the WNBA for NBA Live as well. I urge you guys to go check them out. Tico Stokori is one of them. I can't really remember the other. I believe that kid Kuda did as well but for today man for 2k usually on thursdays like at this point i have been expecting to get some game mode information on thursdays because last thursday we actually got some my gm info and looks like they didn't do that this thursday and unfortunately for me i was shadowing a dentist i wasn't able to get you guys a video out on that but i'm sure the rest of the 2k community kept you guys informed now if you're a diehard celtic fan one of the greatest moves of this offseason probably the the best move of the offseason was when you guys traded down from number one to number three overall and selected Jason Tatum with the number three overall pick. I guess something that comes out of close second place is the fact that Gordon Hayward decided to reunite with his former college head coach Brad Stevens and take his talents to the Boston Celtics. And for those of you guys that couldn't tell, I was clearly being sarcastic about my Jason Tatum comments. The Boston Celtics have a bright, bright future. I have multiple videos on this. I have one about why they're the next championship dynasty. I have another one on why Gordon Hayward to the Celtics is going to be an absolute game-changing move. But in terms of the graphics here, I always... First of all, let me, let me just get into this. The very first thing that's catching my eye is his eyes. What the heck is that little twinkle that like little blue twinkle in his eyes i could just get lost in those eyes man like goodness i know it's video game gordon hayward and i know he's kind of like hardwell's doppelganger but goodness man honestly i uh, like i don't know if he, he looks like some kind of angel right now doesn't he like it's the blue it's like there's this blue little twinkle okay i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop before you guys think i'm some weirdo but <laughs> i hope that's not in the game because it just looks pretty weird to me i like what they have going with his facial hair i especially like the fact that they captured the neck beard and the little tattoo on his is that his ring hand the left hand the left hand's the ring hand right i'm not exactly sure i'm not married and i don't i think the right hand is well on his left third finger that little tattoo he's uh uh tattoo he's got the on his left ring finger looks pretty nice personally i like the jerseys i like the sweat i like the arm hair on his arms as well now moving on to one thing that could be a little controversial here is his rating he's an 88 overall we all know that gordon hayward had a breakout season this past year do you think the 88 overall rating is what he deserves now moving on to one of my favorite players in the nba that's not in a laker uniform mr john wall um i remember when he was first put into the game and they put in the john wall dance and then he, they then he just completely stopped doing the john wall dance but he he has a 90 overall rating so first of all i don't like this angle of him at all he's doing like some kind of i don't know uh, if that's something he does i don't watch a lot of wizards games i'm a huge fan but yeah ironically i don't watch a lot of wizards games but he looks very like clay like you know, is it i don't really see a lot of sweat you know his eyes look very droopy his facial hair looks painted on it looks like i don't even know what he's doing with his eyes over there his hair looks cool but i don't really like how john wall looks at all man i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm not really impressed by how john wall is looking now the next thing i want to ask you guys is what do you think about the 90 overall rating that is four overall less than steph curry so do you think that's a good overall for john wall i would compare him to damian lillard but when they dropped the damian lillard screenshots they didn't reveal what his overall was and when they dropped the isaiah thomas screenshots they didn't reveal what his overall was either but 90 overall compared to d'angelo russell who's an 80 overall lonzo ball who's an 80 overall markel fultz who's an 80 overall and steph curry that's a 94 overall do you think that's a good rating for john wall if you got i think he deserved to be a 92 maybe a 91 in my opinion but that's just my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comment section
description down below. Now, lastly, I did miss the screenshot yesterday. I thought I'd throw him in, especially because I have some attachment here. D'Angelo Russell was released yesterday. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this. Now, personally, man, I have to go on a little tangent here and say, Magic Johnson, why did we have to trade him this summer? We couldn't have waited, I don't know, until February or like January to package him with Timothy Mozgov, maybe get something more. I don't know, we got Kentavious Caldwell Pope from it, but it just really kills me. We, he was he was a Laker for two years and we gave up the number two overall pick just like that, just to save cap space. but okay, that's enough on that tangent. I like how his arm sleeve looks. I I don't know what's going on with his eyes man but i do like what's going on with his um hair i do like what they're doing with his facial hair i hate the fact that he's in a brooklyn nets jersey but i do approve of the 80 overall rating and here is why d'angelo russell is still a fairly unproven commodity and i know it's the same as martel fultz it's the same as lonzo ball but regardless he's still fairly unproven currently if you had to put him on the scale with 10 being a proven superstar and one being a draft bust i'd give him more like a three or a four you know like he hasn't fully proven himself yet as a great nba talent but he has shown in flashes what he could do and honestly i feel like if he was placed in a more stable situation on los angeles this rating would be higher but by the end of this year i guarantee you brooklyn fans he's gonna be at least an 85 86 or an 87 without a doubt he's on a team that's kind of depleted of talent the only other players that he really has on that team is damari Carey and unless if I'm forgetting somebody but I I'm pretty sure the Nets acquired another good piece but regardless they're on the up and up congratulations to Brooklyn for having a new franchise cornerstone and that's gonna be it for today's video guys be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this video besides that man I'm your boy the flight Mike I'll catch you guys in the next one peace